This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Throw and run on three. Hi, we're Stephen, Jess and Hunter, a full-time family from Australia who's been spending the last couple of weeks having fun in some theme parks. And in our final episode, we've made our way out to Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. Welcome to Universal Studios, everybody. And watch Hunter. Um, <laughs> and of course theme parks are best experienced with friends and we had one last day free with our good friends the Grinseri. I used to think I missed the road, the crushing fame and sold out shows. I just sing head shoulders. Now, like it's a different color this one <laughs> yeah do you know whose house that is Sirius Black's house see how it's like a little bit different it's 12 Grimmauld Place ah. and if we wait a second what Peter It'll comes out to like spy on you really yeah I I'm... never knew that oh there he is <laughs> oh I never knew that alrighty first stop we have to go to the Wizarding World. We're currently heading into Diagon Alley. Hunter, are you ready to see a big dragon? Yeah. yeah? yeah. Okay, let's go look. I love how it's hidden behind a wall. Uh-huh. Here we go, Hunter. And you can hear the bricks moving as we walk in. Oh, yeah. Oh, Diagon Alley, Mama. So we've come into Weasley's Wizarding Weezers, which is kind of like the joke shop, the candy shop, and you walk in here thinking, oh, everything's a prop, probably can't pick it up, but Nosebleed Nogot, just about everywhere you look, you can buy it, which is very cool. There's stuff I haven't even seen in the movies before. Fever Fudge. It's kind of cool the lengths they've gone to just, you can just buy everything. So, uh, between me and you, probably a good thing Hunter hasn't seen the movies yet, as um, I really think she doesn't know what she's getting herself into. What have you got there? Ah. Um, Alright, if you want to try this, <laughs> you want me to open it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Birdie Bot's every flavoured beans, hey Hunter? Are those the two you want to get? Sugar Plum Sweet Shop and uh, Hunter insisted that she wanted to try the Birdie Bot's Every Flavor Beans and if you haven't seen the movie these jelly beans come in every flavor including vomit, including boogers, but including strawberry and lemon so let's see what we get. She picks and then I'll tell you what the flavor is. Okay, you ready? It's Hunter's first lolly a Birdie Bot's Every Flavor Beans. <laughs> That's a pretty cool thing to say. She's either chosen earwax or marshmallow. Is that so good? <laughs> okay. Are you sure? I feel like she's eating earwax right now. Do you like that? Do you want one more? Okay, we'll choose one. More. Welcome to Diagon Alley. This is probably the main reason you want to be heading to this park. Oh, personally, that's what we think. You could easily spend the whole day here. There are shops to get your wands. There are shops to get fully dressed up. Shirts, jumpers, there's food buy a wand and interact with the land and of course get some butterbeer and go on the Gringotts ride. So the main ride and the centerpiece for the entire land is Gringotts Bank and it's a ride called Escape from Gringotts. If you remember from the later books or the later movies where they have to come in and leave, this is essentially that really awesome ride and just coming through here to see the bank is worth it. Proceed to the large office at the end of the corridor. Oh yeah, a lot of you are asking how Jess and myself go on rides without Hunter. Let me introduce you to the child swap. We stay with Hunter and our friends go on the ride. Then the minute they're back, we skip straight to the front of the line and they look after Hunter for us. Well, if anyone here is 
thinking of opening an account with Greenhouse. Let's do so with the bank Thank you. That's why I grew my hair. Something I never knew you could do, we went to Gringotts Bunny Exchange and went and got some money. And you can actually use it in the park. What should we get? Should we get Butterbeer? Yep, it's not a visit to the Wizarding World without some fresh Butterbeer. You can hear it? The train's just running ahead, but cheers. Butterbeer. It's so good. On <laughs> it's so creamy. Try it, Steve. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on, make a nice big moustache. It's so good, huh? It's like a Coke float. It's so yum. Worth it. <laughs> All right, we are now on the hunt for the leaky cauldron to try out some lunch. I feel like they're going to do like a pub meal, hey? Hey, yum. Oh, hi. Fish and chippies. Thank, Thank you. you. So it's very traditional pub meals. Do you want to try a fish pie, Hunter? Got fish pie and fish and chips. Ooh. She thinks it's hot. It's not hot. So of course in the movies, Leaky Cauldron, set in London, popular pub. It's a good way to get to Diagon Alley. So because we're in London, you're going to find bangers and mash, fish and chips, a fisherman's pie, <laughs> just about everything you would expect to get at a traditional London pub just with the twist of magic. When the cauldron's double the size of a hunter. <laughs> One of our favourite experiences in the park is catching the Hogwarts Express out of King's Cross Station. A little fun fact, ask the train guard where platform nine and three quarters is. They'll think you're crazy. Is this the way to platform nine and three quarters? The what? Platform nine and three quarters, is it? Not this way? <laughs> and a visit to Harry Potter World is not complete until we go and take the Hogwarts Express. So this park hopper experience is worth doing both ways, as it's a different show depending on whether you're leaving from London or Hogsmeade. Hogwarts? And the coolest part about Hogwarts Express is that it takes you to a brand new park, so we've just arrived at Islands of Adventure, right in front of Hogwarts. And just like that, we are in Hogsmeade. Walking into Hogsmeade is as magical as it always will be from our first time over 11 years ago to now coming back with Little Hunter. There are few moments and experiences in theme parks that you just stop with awe and growing up, lining up for the books and seeing the movies on opening night, stepping in front of the castle never gets old. Hunter wants her other mama. <laughs> So it's a big moment today. Hunter is choosing her first ever wand. Oh, there's one with a snake on it. Yes. Or oh, there's Harry Potter's wand. Oh. Yeah. Oh. What have we got? Wow. Thank you. She chose that one. It's really cool when you buy a wand, as it's interactive throughout the park. It really adds to the immersion of the wizarding world. Did you just wake up and want to go do a spell? Okay, okay. Butterbee aside, I think it's time we jump on some rides. So cool, on the Hippogriff ride. Going above Hogwarts. This is so cool. Hi, Beck. <laughs> it's a brand new day. 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 Wondering 
why Jess is currently feeling a bit nervous? It's because we jumped on the brand new Hagrid roller coaster. Oh my gosh, Steve! Why am I on a roller Butterbeer, right? Yes. Yeah. This time we got frozen butterbeer. Do you want to try some? And this one missed out. Okay, you ready? She was having a nap yesterday. <laughs> Is it good? <laughs> Can mummy have a try? You watch mummy, ready? Hmm? What's on mummy's mouth? What's on mummy's mouth? <laughs> so good. It's so much better frozen. It's way more caramelly when it's frozen. I think we've lost our butter bit. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> As you can see, you can literally spend your entire time at Universal just at the Wizarding World. From watching the singing frog choir, to a performance from the Triwizard Tournament, to even a retelling of the Deathly Hallows. Oh yeah, you can even experience choosing your one from Ollivanders himself, which funnily enough, I was the chosen one 11 years ago. Oh yeah. That's all on top of going on the final ride, which takes place within the halls of Hogwarts itself, which is still one of the best experiences you can do at a theme park to this date. Alrighty, even though we want to spend pretty much our entire time at Harry Potter World, there is more worlds at Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. Let's take you to my second favorite. Just next door is Jurassic Park Land and if you're looking for a fast upside down corkscrew loop-de-loop -loop roller coaster they just built a new one called Velocicoaster and it's by far my one of my new favorite roller coasters. Ever. 
Why would you dad love that hat? I love this hat. Here, they also have an awesome river adventure, which also has a drop. Do you want to go see a dinosaur? Yeah. Is he behind us? Three. Three. No! 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 The Roman Run on three. Three! Oh, oh boy, you didn't find me. He's kind of squatted. He's got this great danger. She's being fucked it up. Yeah, you worked it. Go get it, go. Hey everyone, we just wanted to say a massive thank you to Squarespace, our longtime friends and partner of this channel, for supporting us during this Disney series. So if you are new around here, Squarespace is the amazing all-in-one platform where you can easily put together a website or blog. Of course, our website, flyinthenest.tv, is run completely on Squarespace, which Jess easily put together. They have award-winning customer support and templates, so you can just put one together so easily. Plus, if you get stuck, they're there ready to help you. So if you are interested in designing your own website, make sure you check out our link in the description below as it gives you a free trial plus when you're ready to buy 10% of your first order. Bye bye! Ready? Bye! Do you want to come down with Mark? Yeah, alright. Yeah. Uh, but you deserve more than the crumbs she's leaving for so today we come to Islands of Adventure and decided this morning should definitely be up our little hunter so we're going to see what we can do here and first up we've come to Dr. Seuss's landing. I think it's off to a good start. I can't imagine being at this age in a world of total belief what it would feel like seeing characters from your bedtime stories appear in front of you one morning. So after a retelling of the Lorax, we moved on so we can actually show you guys that these parks are just about Harry Potter and dinosaurs. And welcome to Marvel Land. <laughs> So if you're looking for some more crazy roller coasters, this is definitely where you'll find them. And OG the Hulk. Classic, still good. And there's Dr. Doom's Fearful if you like drop rides. This one, even Jess likes to go on. One of my favorites. Alright, jumping on the Kong ride. Honestly, if there's any advice we can pass on from spending the last couple of weeks as a family hanging out at the theme park, is that the moments you remember the most are the ones where you just stop. Hunter insists that you go see the animal show, grab a snack and walk around. Go and see a show, make some new friends and just enjoy the moments. There are things I can't explain I know it's true, cause every day I stand away And I love you more than the day before I've seen you do impossible things Like mend a heart that no one could fix I see your way Alright, wait for the light show. I'm playing a game. What do you reckon this flavour is? <laughs> it's rotten eggs. Oh. <laughs> is it so good? Oh, it's not good. <laughs> Hi, Hunter. Okay, you can have one more. <laughs> right 
And back in your cave. <laughs> oh, try watermelon. Tell me you've had too big jelly beans without telling me you've had big jelly beans. Hello, Cuckoo. Okay, <laughs> so that's a good one.